Wow. That is just frustrating. <laughs> okay, are we back? <laughs> I think we're back. Yeah. It's that shoddy uh, LA internet. It's... <laughs> I mean, I would say first world problems, <laughs> but good night. Good night. I mean, it's something that we pay so much money for. It better work, <laughs> you know? Uh, drives me nuts. All right, let's go ahead and we'll say accept. Okay, I need to split this off so that it's its own thing. Split unmasked. Bird skull. Okay, we'll just kind of play with the uh, the placement of these points so that they make the proper shape. And let's see. Oh, good grief, I can't see. In something in my eye. I've been getting something in my eye frequently over the last few days, and it's driving me nuts. And it's like there's not any wind movement. There's not anything happening. <laughs> it's like just, just stop. Okay. I'm going to take this piece, duplicate it off. And then, if I have symmetry turned on, so let's go ahead, we'll center this. I'm just going to turn this around a full 180 degrees. Point it in the right direction. And we'll just kind of make this into the bird beak. Okay, now it's not quite perfect yet, so what I'm gonna do, let's, uh, let's grab this uh, clip curve. We'll just clip that. Oh, let's try this again, because I, I do need it to be symmetrical. So let's do that, which that should work out just nicely. other side all right <laughs> yeah this this little piece right here yeah I'm, I'm definitely going through and just kind of blocking this out for right now uh, there's some shape things I got to work out and uh, but yeah I mean it's 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 working out so far it's it's not too bad Go ahead and kind of pull this up and over. And this can kind of come in. This needs to come in and over. And then let's see, this little piece down right here. Let's kind of pull that out so it gets more of that angled shape that we're getting from the actual bird head in the concept. Yeah, the, the idea behind what it is that I'm doing right now is this is a it's a draw this in your style challenge, but I want to more like it'll have a little bit of my own flavor and like some of my own judgments and things like that on how things need to look. Um, but but really I'm trying to I'm trying to go pretty close to the to the concept. Um, Let's go ahead and just kind of clip this a little bit so that it gets a little bit of a different silhouette here. I think that that feels cool. We'll kind of pull this down, pull this down, pull this down, just so that it's touching, not so that it's... Yeah, I'm 
trying to decide if I like that hooked beak or if I want to go with more, pardon me, with more of a more of a straight sharp beak, like what uh, like what Mikel has there. Um, let's try it with a with a straighter beak, and we'll see if we like it. If not, we can just undo it. Topological, so we don't have to worry about bothering the other, the other piece. Yeah, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. I like it. Let's do it. Just kind of narrow out this beak just a little bit more. I think that that'll be helpful. So what I want to do for right oh shoot for right now I want to keep these two pieces separate but I want to dynamesh them so I'm just going to go ahead and let's dynamesh hit groups let's see what that resolution looks like not nearly enough so let's go ahead and up that to like 512 Oh crap come on Yeah, there we go. That is significantly better. <laughs> All right, now we get to get into the. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's use trim dynamic, and we'll we'll play with this a little bit. Um, I had a supervisor who really didn't like trim dynamic. <laughs> he was like, "Don't use trim dynamic." use hard polish <laughs> and I was like okay um, you know for me I really like trim dynamic because it gives me better control hard polish it's good for different things um, you know like you, you can use different brushes in a better you know different contexts um, for me personally I love I love kind of like the sketchy feel that I get from Trim Dynamic, but I also love how it's you know it's got a it's got quite a bit of control. Um, quite a bit of control. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's use that clip curve again. The nice thing about clip curve is that it works with symmetry. Um, the trim brushes, the uh, the slice brushes, they don't, and so it's they're they're kind of uh, they kind of drive me nuts. <laughs> um, but it's okay. I mean, like there's a, there's an easy enough of a workaround if you. Uh, if you're working with slice curve or trim curve or any of those other curve brushes that uh, have to do with the uh, you know hiding and modifying the shape like this, um, you can easily go through and just mirror and weld. You just need to make sure that you're working on the proper side and then you're good to go. So. I'll probably make this a download on on uh, on Patreon once once I uh, once I finish it. So this would be available for for the the upper tier for the asset hoarders. Um, and then I might make I might make this skull the download for the for the brushes for that month as well. Um, sometimes I get my. Sometimes I get my things uploaded like right away, and sometimes I wait until the end of the month. <laughs> you know, it's kind of it's kind of uh, kind of interesting. Like for instance, this month, 
Um, I'll be uploading this month's downloads here in the next couple of days. I have them ready, but I haven't. Uh oh. If you're seeing this and you're not already on Twitch TV, click here to get the best Twitch experience. If you're seeing this and you're already on Twitch TV, please review your third party tools. Most likely there is an ad blocker. Stream will resume shortly. Thanks for watching. Okay, so hopefully, I don't know if you guys are getting that. I know that I'm getting that. Um, okay, we're good. <laughs> Not pinch. Well, I guess it could go through and pinch, but I want to trim dynamic. I've been doing a lot of like super sculpted sort of stuff for uh, for work lately, and so it's like I'm I'm very much in the groove on a lot of the sort of uh, little methodologies that I. <laughs> that I use for sculpting typically, but I haven't been able to use mostly because of uh, production modeling needs. Um, you know, typically my jobs require me to um, have much more of a, a structured workflow. And so having things like this where I'm able to go ahead and kind of break free of that it's a it's 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 a good thing for me. I really really enjoy being able to do that. Okay, let's make sure this isn't dipping. Yeah, and for those of you who want to check out Mikel's work, let me let me go ahead and pull him up for you cuz he is Awesome. Let's go to Instagram. Oh, nice. I don't want to lose that, so I'm going to save it there. Let's go ahead and say um, Mikkel. All right. So yeah, awesome stuff. If you want to, if you want to be able to find him, here is a link to his. Um, I went ahead and sent it through my my personal Twitch, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I went ahead and I um, sent you that link there. You should be able to get to it just fine. Um, yeah, and in fact. <laughs> Uh, he was going through also and and making his uh, his own version of of this draw this in your style character. So it's really fun to kind of to kind of see the way that he interpreted it, um, being the original artist. <laughs> it's the first print. Wow! And going through and getting work on the hair. Uh, it's it's a really really tricky thing to work with actual toys. But yeah. Super, super awesome artist. Uh, totally well worth checking out. So, so definitely make sure to go check him out. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that was. Let's go ahead and add that to that same box there. All right. I'm going to play with the widths. It feels like the. Uh, Feels like these uh, these brow pieces need to be coming in toward. What is that? Interesting. Here, simple solution. Okay, let's kind of clip that off like that. Okay, and then. It's really kind of tricky. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is that I'm seeing here. Let's 
Let's go ahead. Look, I'm getting too much light now. It's like at first I wasn't getting enough, and now I'm getting too much. <laughs> the sun's starting to come out. All right. Okay, let's let's go ahead and we'll block in this actual eye here. In fact, let's let's do it this way. Let's say change to mask pen here let's let's go ahead and let's turn on our our lazy mouse because that'll help give us a much smoother line let's maybe expand it up just a little bit more just so we can come in here and we can kind of trim away at it. I want to get those nice sharp corners. Okay, so now we've got this. So now if we invert it, we can, let's, yeah, let's just use our move brush and we'll just, oops, make it nice and big. doesn't feel right so let's try let's try this let's try you know what I'm trying to I'm trying to go through and really ask myself what doesn't feel right about this and it feels like there are a few things it feels like there might be a need to kind of build out this area over here uh, so we'll, we'll play with this a little bit Oh boy, I hope everything's just still working just fine because like according to what I can see, I can see that it's going through on the internet, but I'm not getting any actual messages on the chat on Pix on ZBrush Live. So I'm I, I, I'm I'm always worried that this is going to Maybe I'll jump over to Twitch instead and see if that gives me anything else. went dark a few times okay so it is happening it is working okay okay I just want to make sure that it's like <laughs> actually working <laughs> because it's a pain going to a stream where things aren't working and it's like I teach I teach classes online and whenever I'm trying to teach classes uh, it seems like there there's an occasional time where it's like I just can't keep my signal and uh, it's it's an absolute mess. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so so much. Yeah, whatever. We'll get we'll get over it. that we'll, we'll just use trim dynamic trim adaptive I've been using that one a lot more lately um, for for work because it gets me this really cool kind of sculptural sort of feel and so I've been playing with that and trying to you know trying to get different feels out of my uh, out of my brushes um, my approach to, to sculpting has become very different since working with Netflix and so uh, right now I'm kind of going a little bit more to 